When it comes to keeping rabbits as pets, one of the most important aspects to consider is their living space. Due to their curiosity and playful nature, rabbits need much more than just a small cage or hutch. But you may have noticed that if you don't free roam your rabbit, you will be shunned as a rabbit owner. So today I will show you my rabbit's enclosure and why I choose not to free roam my rabbits. Hi everyone, welcome back to Ollie and Oatly's channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my bunny setup and I'm going to talk to you about why I do not free roam my bunnies. Denying them quality space deprives them from essential activities that they need to live a healthy life. And a lot of times, caged rabbits can experience boredom, aggression, and even stress. By giving your rabbit enough room to move and explore, you are setting your rabbit up for success for the long run. So let's talk about how I set up my rabbit's spacious enclosure with plenty of stimulation that enables natural rabbit behavior like eating hay, hiding, and hopping around. Their home base is in the corner of our living room and kitchen area. This is where we spend the most of our time in our house. I set up a very spacious X-Pen that is completely bunny proof so I know they are safe in here when we leave or go to sleep. I specifically chose this corner because I was able to put a gate here that I can easily access in and out and it is close to our back door where I store the hay. So rabbits naturally burrow in the ground and having a hidey house provides an area that allows them to hide, sleep, and feel safe. I got this wooden hutch online and I removed the side cage area to make it a house that's off the ground that they can hang out, sleep in, and just feel safe. And then one day while the bunnies were out exploring, Ollie found this cabinet that didn't have a back to it and decided to just snuggle up in there. I wound up just removing all the books I had stored in there. I put down a blanket and this is now their number one hidey house they use. I actually wound up using the other side of the cabinet to store their food, pee pads, and other supplies. I then made a covered litter box where they also eat hay in. I noticed they will spend more time eating hay in a covered box instead of out in the open. I also love having the hay covered because it helps with any odor or dust from the hay. Other than the litter box in here, I have two more litter boxes set up without hay. Oatly is only three months old and has not been fixed yet, so I'm doing everything I can to set her up for success when it comes to litter box training by giving her multiple options to use litter box. My litter box setup is pretty simple. I place a litter box in an unscented garbage bag, I place a pee pad down, and I put horse bedding on the top, and then I just put the top back on. This litter box allows the poop to fall down and through the holes, so when they jump out, it doesn't fly out all over the floor. I use these washable pee pads for the floor so I can easily wash them, and since rabbits don't have paw pads, they can easily slip on hard floors. So these pee pads allow them to zoom around without getting hurt or their legs slipping out. I have a bunch of rabbit toys here that they rarely even touch, but I do plan on making a video on getting new toys for my bunnies and seeing what's worth buying, so stay tuned for that video. I then have a water bowl that is super heavy so they can't knock it over. And last but not least, I have a snuffle mat that I feed their pellets on along with some foraging tea. This just makes them feel like they are foraging like they would do in the wild instead of making it easy for them by just placing it in a bowl. So this is their home base where they are safe and have everything they need and I can lock them up when I have to leave or when we are going to bed or when we just cannot keep both gates locked in our living room. I work from home and I spend most of my day in the living room working on my laptop and I'll leave the door open so they can come on out whenever they want. They will spend some time sleeping in their cabinet or they'll come out and explore as they please. But I think it's time to have the free roam talk you have all been waiting for. 
Free roaming your rabbit means that you would allow your bunny to roam the house just like a cat or dog would. And to do this, you would remove any barrier restricting your bunny to do so. If you have done any research on getting a bunny like I did, you will find all of these videos and all these articles about free roaming your rabbit. But I also noticed that the same people promoting free roaming was also explaining how their rabbit has destroyed their things. So when I got my rabbits, I knew that free roaming was not an option, but I wanted to do everything I could to give them enough space and make sure I give them enough time outside of their enclosure. I also have two dogs that I crate when we leave the house and when we go to bed, just so they don't get into anything potentially dangerous. And just like the bunnies, when I am home, they are outside of their crate and they have time to play outside. But when I was first getting my bunny, I was so scared that I was wrong for not allowing them to completely free roam through the whole house and all day long. And I couldn't really find a video that explained how spacious the enclosure had to be. And then allowing them to free roam during the day. So I figured I would make a video that shared what we do and how it works. You don't have to always free roam your rabbit. As long as you're not keeping your rabbit in a small cage or hutch and just giving them an hour a day of playtime, I don't think you have to free roam your rabbit for them to bond with you or feel like they are part of your family. In fact, my bunnies know when it's time to go in their enclosure at night and they will actually put themselves in there around nine o'clock when I'm getting ready to go to bed. And in the morning, they run up so excited to come back out. My bunnies have a great life without completely being free roam, and this is what I'm comfortable with, so that is really all that matters. So don't worry about what the internet says about free roaming, and just do what you and your rabbit are comfortable with, as long as you're giving them enough space. That is it for today, guys. I hope that I helped you with some ideas for your bunny enclosure, and I hope I made you feel better about getting a bunny, even if you can't free roam your rabbit. Please let me know in the comments below your thoughts on free roaming. And like always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. Make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.